So here we are in Dreamweaver and what we're going to be doing now is to set up our secondary pages. Uh, here we have our index page and what I'd like you to do at this point is to say file save as and we are going to save as our let's say our about page and the about page is going to be replaced because if you remember the existing about page does not have any information on it that we want except for the basic structure. We're going to get rid of the three column layout and turn it into a two column layout. However, notice that it does say update the links and we'll always say yes and the reason being is because since the index page was outside of any folders and the about page is inside the web folder, what that actually means is the links will be different from the index to the about. So here we are inside of the about page at this point. How do we know that? Well look over here. This is the about page. That's the index page. Well at this point I'm going to split to the or go to the split screen view and what we can see here is that you know if you just slide you can select the image that's in here. Notice here's the div called middle column and uh, the middle column div is the one that has the other elements inside of it and there was another div over here called the right column and that's the div as you can see right there so what we're going to be doing now is to actually being or getting rid of uh, a lot of the information that we happen to have so um, what I'm gonna do is to remove the elements from inside this and we could even remove the elements from inside this one just by deleting them. And as you can see here, I'm going to actually get rid of this. And here is the third column, that right column. And I can leave it as is if I wish. Um, I can get rid of this middle column if I wish. So now I just have this right column. So let's think about a couple of things. We still have this area over here which is called left column, L call, and it's perfectly fine. It's got, you know, nothing really um, giving us any grief. It still has this link uh, on that page, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, again, doing exactly what it should be doing. However, um, what I want to be doing is to creating some new sections. Instead of calling this L call, I think just for the sake of simplicity, we will go about creating something in here called nav. We'll turn that into the navigation section and we'll see a little bit later on that that's going to be perfectly fine for us. Now what is nav going to do? Well it's going to look exactly the same as the other one. In other words it'll still be 260 and it will still float to the left and if I press apply nothing's really going to be applying yet and we'll see why because there is no nav. But in here where the ID for L call set, I'm going to rename that nav and just refresh that. And as you can see, you still have everything exactly the way it was before. And that's great. But now this area here, if I were to increase its size, well, first of all, it's called right column. I'm going to change its name to something like main content. And now that that's been refreshed and called main content, you can see that, wow, it's all stretched out and not exactly the size that I want it to be. So we're going to have to make some changes. And what we're going to do is to specify that main content is going to be, again, floating this time to the right. And how big is it going to be? Well, let's see. If I had 260 and 260, that would be about well, let's see, uh, 250 and 250 is 500, an extra 10 each is another 20, so 520. But we still had that space in the middle over here, about 30 pixels, so 550 is what I'm looking for. So if I make it 550 and press apply, you can see that it still maintains that gutter space of 30 that we had over here, and it's looking pretty good. So I'll click OK. Now, couple of other things. We're going to switch over to the assets window and in the assets window if I refresh it you can see that I've got all three of my pictures 
We're going to drag this picture right in here. We'll give it some alternate text. I'll say uh, large about picture. That's not very intuitive, but you know, if you actually had um, a picture and some files that made a little bit more sense than this one does, then I would suggest that you use it. Now notice there still was the H1 information from before, which I'm going to get rid of. And the reason being is because I'll just copy the information that's here about typography, and I'll Command X to cut it out, and I can get rid of that H1 information too. And right underneath my picture, I'm going to press return, and I'm going to paste in this text. Now, you'll notice that the text did not paste in with the exact information I wanted. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make that a H1. And I'm going to make sure that this area here is not a H1, but rather I'll select that text, and I'll make it just a paragraph. So we still have the paragraph information from before. I can even copy this and you know, add some extra space in here just in case. And as you can see, we've got our file looking pretty much the way I want it to. Let's test it and see what little tweaks we need to accomplish in here. So we saved both of those elements. And um, let's try that again, sorry. Come in here and I'll preview this in Firefox. And as you can see, I've got my elements in place. There's a 30-pixel uh, uh, separation here, as all images were set to have 30 pixels of separation. Notice that the paragraphs could probably have a little bit more down at the bottom. Or what I could simply do is increase the amount of um, information, or margin rather, at the bottom of that particular uh, file. So main content here does not really have anything in terms of margin or padding. So I'll just add like maybe 10 pixels down at the bottom. And if I click OK, you can see that that's increased a little margin outside of that area. If it's not enough for you, you certainly can increase that even more if you wish. And um, you can see that there's extra margin there. So now if I were to preview this in my browser, we would see that there is certainly some extra space down at the bottom. Well, that's funny. It's sort of going to the default. Let me try that again. And there you go. And as you can see, I've got some extra space here. I don't really need to worry about it. And we've incurred a scroll bar, but you know, that's fine. We're not all that unhappy with it. If you want to even see what more text would look like, I could go to lipsum.com, as you remember last time, and I could just generate some more text inside here. And we could add some extra paragraphs or something along those lines if we wish. So I'll just copy a paragraph here, go back to Dreamweaver, and underneath this, I would just paste in yet another paragraph. I think I'll have to do it in here. So there we go, we can refresh this, and as you can see, I've got my paragraph separation in there. Now, I do notice that my paragraphs don't actually have anything at the bottom. So there's a separation of sorts that I want to place in here. There's no margin or padding definition for those. So I'm going to go to my box definition, and let's add a little bit of uh, margin at the bottom of my paragraphs. So I'm pretty happy with the way they look at the top here. And that's pretty much because of my headlines. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let's say, hey, what if we had 10 separation there? If that's good for you, great. If you want to have more, 116 is too much, obviously. But 16 perhaps can work OK for us. And if you like that, then that can work just fine for what we have available for us right here. Now what we're going to do is to finish off this page by adding some navigation elements over here on the side. And we'll do that in just a second.